I asked my subscribers to pick my first full suspension mountain bike. The overwhelming majority voted for a Vita Smithique VR, and that's exactly what I picked up. I have in my possession a 2021 Vita Smithique VR 27.5. I picked this bike up from Chain Reaction Cycles and I got it for $1,640. On paper, this bike looks like it's the best budget full suspension mountain bike on the market. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and see what it's all about. All right, well, I just got the bike built up and I have a couple little concerns with the bike. First off, the cable routing just needs to be cinched down a little bit better. But I can't get the cable cinched down that well, so I'm gonna throw on a zip tie instead. Also, the chain is basically bone dry. So I'm gonna have to lube that up, which I was already gonna do anyway. But the biggest thing that I'm noticing is the brake orientation is on the wrong side. When I ordered this bike, I put my preference for the rear brake to be on the right and the front brake to be on the left. But I'm gonna email Chain Reaction Cycles and see if they'll send me a brake and bleed kit, which I don't currently own. But for now, I'm actually just gonna take the levers and swap them. Sure, they'll be upside down, which will look a little bit funky, but it'll get me by for a few weeks. And also real quick, I'm just gonna dial in the air pressures on both shocks. The biggest thing that jumps out at me is the paint job. Vetus Nucleus and the Vetus Mythique are Nardo gray, but the Nucleus is a gloss finish. This is a super sick matte finish, which I think that's how Nardo gray should be. Overall, this whole bike looks amazing. I am just so pumped. Let's go ride this thing. and I've actually done two rides with this bike already. My very first ride on this bike was actually my first mountain bike race. Yeah. Good job, good job. What a way to get used to the bike. I really feel that this bike needs absolutely nothing out of the box. Well, maybe other than tubeless, but that's just my preference. I did pick this bike up in a 27.5 because that's all that they had in stock. I've been riding 29ers since I first started mountain biking. I was a little reluctant to buy this bike in a 27.5 because it seems like on YouTube and just the internet in general that 29ers are just the new standard. And honestly, I would love to tell you that I noticed a big difference, but I didn't notice any difference at all between the 27.5 and the 29 inch wheels. I think part of that is because the Vita Smithique has a 66.5 degree head angle, which is pretty slack and it makes the bike very stable. The forks that come with this bike are the X-Fusion RC32 Boost Fork, they're 130 millimeters travel. They also have all the necessary rebound and lockout adjustments, which I think is gonna take some time to get used to. The rear shock is an X-Fusion O2 Pro R, which is also 130 millimeters travel. This is my first time using a rear shock at all, and it's also gonna take some getting used to. One thing I noticed is that there was hardly any pedal bob when I was going up hills, and this bike climbed really well, especially in that XC race that I did. The Shimano Dior drivetrain 
was awesome. It is a 10 speed cassette. And during my XC race, there was a couple times where I felt like I needed that in between gear, which an 11 speed would help. But overall, it just shifted really smooth. I'm really happy that it came with a Shimano group set. The Shimano MT-401 brakes stopped really good. And I really didn't notice anything with the braking. Maybe that's because the bike comes with 180 millimeter rotors front and back. The biggest selling point for me on this bike is that there's through axles front and back. Most other budget full suspension mountain bikes don't have a through axle on the back, so you're kind of limited on what you can upgrade to in the long run. I think that through axles are much more reliable, although I've never had a quick release axle get snagged on something and undo itself on the trail. And I've definitely never had a wheel fall off in the 20 plus years I've been riding bikes. Speaking of wheels, the rims are WTB ST i30 rims, which means it has a 30 millimeter internal width, which is very modern and it accommodates wider tires better. The hubs are sealed, which is a great improvement from the Vetus Nucleus. And I don't know if you caught it earlier, but the hub just sounds awesome. For a $1,600 bike, I was not expecting that. The bike does come stock with a Brand X Ascend dropper, which is a huge plus for a budget mountain bike. I picked up a medium, so the dropper is 120 millimeters, and I'm 5'9", and I think that's pretty much all that I need. Another huge selling point to me is that these tires are awesome. The bike does come stock with tubes, but the Schwalbe Magic Mary in the front and the hands damp in the back are tubeless ready. So all you gotta do is install your own valves and put in your sealant and it's ready to go. That's another huge selling point for me. One thing that's not super clear is what the hub's driver body is. So let's go ahead and rip it apart and find out. All right, looks like it's a Shimano HG driver body, but there's absolutely no grease on here. So let's talk about some other budget mountain bikes in the $1,500 range. The Polygon Siskiyou is a great option, although that is marketed as an XC bike. This Mythique has a four bar suspension design, which is much more stable and should absorb bumps a lot better. The Siskiyou has whatever pivot point this is for the rear suspension. I'm thinking that this one is much more modern. I had an opportunity to get a Giant Stance 3, but after looking at it, it has a quick release axle in the rear and I think I've moved on from quick release. For $1,600, this bike is a great deal. I definitely recommend it to everybody, but I'd also recommend if you do get this bike, it's to really go over the bike and make sure everything is greased properly. I do wish that the cable routing could have been done a little bit differently, but I'm just being nitpicky at this point. I'm definitely gonna be upgrading this bike, so make sure you subs... Is that a paint chip already?